How accessible does your digital content need to be under the law? What exactly are the guidelines that the law requires? There's a lot of alphabet soup when it comes to understanding the legalities of accessibility, but I'll give you a quick intro to section 508 and to WCAG, which are the guidelines that you need to adhere to when you're creating digital content that you want to be legally accessible. So stay tuned and we will give you the scoop. I'm Lindsay and I cover instructional design, e-learning development, and all things online teaching and learning. So since you're here, you probably agree accessibility is important, but the law also has a lot to say about accessibility. There's both federal and state laws and guidelines that specify exactly how accessible digital content needs to be depending on your context. So if you work in a corporation or in a privately funded organization, you may not be legally required to make your content accessible, though it is still best practice. Now, if you work for the government or any sort of public agency that's maybe funded by the government, receives public funding legally, you're almost definitely required to make your content accessible. Now, all that said, I am not a lawyer. Please check with your leadership uh, and your legal team at your institution for accessibility requirements in your organization, but do be cautious. And also, when in doubt, make it accessible. It's going to be a better experience for everyone. So let's talk specifics about the law, just to give you a little bit of context. I won't go deep into any of the law, I promise. Now, the law is section 508. You've probably heard of it, not the most catchy name, but super important. Section 508 is the portion of federal law that relates to digital and web accessibility. This federal law has been adopted by most states as their own guidelines for accessibility. It's much easier just to, you know, point to someone else's law and say, us too. We'll talk more about what section 508 requires in just a moment. Teeny bit of history here, in 1998, the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 was amended to account for all things electronic. So digital documents, web documents, federal agencies in particular were required to make all of these things accessible to people with disabilities. Now, they updated this in 2017, again, Section 508 is that little piece of law in the Rehabilitation Act that relates to what we're interested in. In 2017, they revised Section 508 to adopt the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines as the standard for accessibility. Again, it's much easier to point to work that other people have done. There may be experts on it and say, yes, that that's what we want you to do. So let's talk about what that means. So Section 508 requires that you adhere to a portion of the web content accessibility guidelines. These are more commonly known as WCAG or WCAG, depending on who is pronouncing it. WCAG was developed and is maintained by W3C, which is the main international standards organization for the internet. The internet wouldn't work if you we weren't all playing by the same rules. So they come up with those rules and they also come up with accessibility guidelines. Now, WCAG has a lot of different levels, a lot of different sections. In particular, to our interest, Section 508 requires WCAG 2.0, level a a okay there's levels of accessibility but this is what the law requires in the united states and it's going to get you basically to where you need to be for most people with disabilities so let's talk about the principles behind wcag now in general wcag requires that your content be four things it should be perceivable operable understandable and robust. These are the guiding principles that lead to the specific guidelines on how content should be formatted and how it should work. I know that's a lot of information, but you don't have to go into the WCAG guidelines themselves unless you really want to. I've got a checklist for you. You can check that out below the video, download that, take it with you. When you're trying to create content that meets the law, WCAG 2.0 level 
A, A. Um, there's basic common sense things you can add like closed captions, alt text, appropriate text formatting. That's all included in the checklist below. I will also add that there's different levels of WCAG. So you can create content that's way more accessible, but WCAG 2.0 level AA is the minimum accessibility available by law. So if you're thinking like audio descriptions, things like that, that may not be required under level uh, AA, uh, but if you went to level AAA, that might be required. So consider how accessible your content needs to be. It really depends on your particular audience. Generally 2.0 level AA is a perfect place to start and will get you most of the way to where you need to be.